Climate change. Hi, my name is Charlie. Ta da! So lately I've been thinking a lot about climate change, right? And it's it's a little confusing. It's making some places wetter and some places drier. A lot of places warmer, but some places, at least for now, a little colder. But when I walk outside, it's kind of hard to tell if things have even changed at all. And that really makes me wonder, how has the climate changed around me? Hmm. Wonders with Charlie. Wonders with Charlie is supported by Wonderopolis.org, a website by the National Center for Families Learning, and by subscribers like you. Thank you. Okay, so how has the climate changed around where I live or where you live? To answer this question, we get to go outside. Outside! And look for one of these. A stump. Everything we need to know is right here in the stump's tree rinks. Tree ring. So I'm sure that you guys know that trees grow a new ring every single year. Here's kind of what that looks like. But the really neat thing is that the thickness of that ring is determined by what the weather was like the year that it grew. If it's a warm and wet year, the tree will grow a lot and you'll get a nice thick ring that looks like this. But if it's a cold and dry year, the tree's not gonna grow that much and the new ring's gonna be much thinner, kinda like this. Trees grow thick rings during warm and wet years and thin rings during cold and dry years. Thick rings, warm and wet, thin rings, cold and dry. And if you think about it, we can use this information to read the tree's rings and learn how the weather has changed over time in the forest where the tree is growing. Did things get colder and drier or warmer and wetter? Were some years one way and other years another? Well, let's figure it out. Let's uh, dive into these rings. We're gonna start with this fine example that I plucked right from outside. The one thing to keep in mind while reading tree rings is that trees grow kind of like a lot like humans. They grow very fast when they're young, like a, like a child like a small baby child. And they grow much more slowly when they're adults, like uh, how humans grow more slowly when they're old people. So what that means is a tree's rings are naturally gonna get skinnier over time, and it's gonna kinda look like this. This is what a normal stump should look like ring-wise. You got your thicker rings in the middle and your thinner rings on the outside. What we gotta do is to look for the differences, like the rings that don't really follow this pattern. Looking for rings that are thicker than expected or thinner than expected, like these two right here. These are the years the weather was different. It wasn't really normal. So paying attention to those can help us understand how the weather has changed over time. So we'd expect the rings to be thicker in the middle and to get thinner and thinner as we move towards the outside of the stump. But on this stump, there are two spots where it doesn't follow that pattern. Instead of getting smaller, here and here, the rings get thicker. These differences are very subtle and it helps to look up close. See, we got thinner rings over here to thicker rings over here, which means that these rings grew during years that were warmer and wetter than usual. And here's an even bigger stump that I checked out. It has 64 rings, so it was 64 years old when it was chopped down. It has thicker than expected groups of rings here, here, and here. Even more evidence that things are warmer and wetter than usual. So if I had to guess how the weather might be changing around me, Based on these tree rings, I'd say that on average, it's getting warmer and wetter. And the neat thing is, that's true. Here are two confusing graphs that show just that, that Chicago, where I'm from, is getting warmer and wetter, thus confirming our tree ring results. So trees are kind of like climate time capsules, which is helpful because in a lot of places, scientists have only been taking weather records for like 100 years or so. But now they're studying the rings of trees that are thousands of years old, which can help them figure out what the climate was like way before they were even taking those records. So hey, I got a great idea. Go outside and find a stump near you. Figure out how the weather has changed in your neighborhood and let me know what it's like in the comments below and thanks so much for watching this episode of wonders with charlie i'll see you guys next time when i'm wondering something else wonders with charlie is supported by wonderopolis.org a website by the national center for families learning and by subscribers like you thank you oh and also all my wonderful patrons on patreon thank you guys so much if you'd like to check out some behind the scenes content and see how i make these videos Click here to visit Patreon. Click here to subscribe for more awesome videos like this. And if you're looking to watch something else, just click right here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.